Well, nobody liked my Ricky the Raccoon hat. Now I'm wearing this one to make a point. Many people wouldn't wear something like this. Here, let me take the light off. Recognize it? Just a typical sports helmet that got painted with a little bit of coyote and forest green. $20. Is it bulletproof? No. Uh, is it good for going in caves and stuff like that? Yes. You know, I'm not planning on sticking my head up and getting shot. But if you're, if you're, you know, running around and running and gunning and doing all that stuff like nothing fancy does, lightweight. I mean, it's, I mean, you can tell it's on there. But they're very, very lightweight. They're not like the military ones. Of course, the military ones are uh, bullet resistant. They're only good for, uh, what do you call it, uh, pistol rounds. They will not stop a rifle. And which, in a war zone, most of what happens is rifle shooting anyway. So basically, you know, just as far as running into stuff and hitting your head on the cars and and low limbs and stuff that you're actually going to hit your head on, one of these will do just fine for 20 bucks. You add a pair of safety glasses to this and you got you a pretty good poo hitting the fan headgear. You know, this is this one here is up enough where you can put your you can still wear your headphones in and uh, stuff like that. Actually, I thought about taking this and maybe mounting some headset to it. You know, that way, uh, you know, I'll just mount my, uh, take this strap off and uh, just take this light and mount it right to the front of it and um, have everything set. All I gotta do is put the hat on and I'll have a light and maybe Velcro all over it, you know, Velcro stuff to it and, and uh, have whatever I need. You know, have my shooting gear, head gear, all in one. Just put it on, poof, ready to go. So you don't need a bulletproof helmet. All you need is just one to keep uh, keep somebody. If it's strong enough to take a pool cue over upside the head, it's strong enough. I mean, uh, I don't have nothing I'm going to hit myself over the head with here handy, but, you know... Uh, Let's say you take one of these things here, you want to... Normally, that would hurt if you didn't have this thing on. Unless you got a hard head like me. Good enough. You know, everybody says, well, you can get stuff stuck in them little holes. It's not meant for that. This is not... I mean, hey, it, it's thick enough where it would stop some shrapnel. I mean, it wouldn't stop uh, a, 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 what do you call it, uh, a grenade going off right, out, right, out, right beside your head. No, it's not made for that. This is made for hitting your head on bars and stuff. And uh, that's the number one thing. Of course, some of you haven't got enough brains to protect. So if, you, if, you're, if you're dumb, let's put it this way. If you think this looks stupid and you're not going to wear it because it looks stupid then you don't need it because you haven't got enough brains to warrant wearing one anyway. So if you think it looks stupid and you wouldn't wear it because it looks stupid, then you don't need one because you're too stupid to wear one.